Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio. This is Carol Parisi. Our founder, Jack Roser, and myself have Charles Butler with us today. And before the break, we were talking about Barack Obama and still all befuddled that he got reelected. Hmm. Um, it's, it speaks volumes to the, you know, the voter out there and the low information voter and the sound bites that people believe. Now, Charles, I know Jack's passion is schools and the public education system and how the unions are really taking over our children's schools. Um, have you heard anything about this Common Core in Illinois? No, I haven't. Uh, you, haven't? You, you mentioned it, and I'm familiar with what um, the Gates Foundation is doing. Uh, but, you know, I've always had a problem with Bill Gates. In fact, I, I met Gates and Paul Ballmer uh, when, when they first started out. Uh, when they first started Microsoft. And I always had the feeling that one day we would wake up and there would be a p little picture of Bill Gates saying, fool ya, and everything would vanish off our computers. <laughs> I hope not. The, the, well, the, 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 the guy who helped him start his company was a man named Jack, uh, Jack uh, Keeler, who rose to become uh, vice chairman of IBM. I worked with his son, and I knew Jack quite extensively. And we should talk about those things. Well, I just want to say something to you. I know, Jack, you've heard a little bit about the Common Core. And mm -hmm. it's, it's in nine states, but to our listeners, it's in Illinois right now. And it is a national database. You're going to mm -hmm. find this to be profound. A national mm -hmm. database of our children mm -hmm. with their name, address, and social security number. Mm -hmm. And it's to compass, it's called Compass Their Learning, and it's to, they say they want to personalize their learning. And boy, that kind of language really bites me. <laughs> uh, the, when, I'm sure uh, the NEA is, is, is involved with all of this, too. Your favorite, the National Extortion Association. Yeah, that's the right name for the initials of the NEA. That's what Forbes called them back in 1993, the National Extortion yeah. Association. When they start talking about our character and so on, that they know, uh, I know a little bit about Common Core and, and be very leery of it. Uh, first of all, Anything the federal government is going to do where they're going to go into detail on what your children learn in school, you better be scared of that because the government shouldn't be doing that. We out here should be purchasing the education we want in the, with the same diligence we buy an automobile or a home or what we eat. And our kids are important to us. And the Supreme Court has ruled long ago that the responsibility for education of the children lies with the parents not with the state, nor the super state that uh, Obama's got. As far as Common Core goes, uh, there's two cores to it. One is, the, uh, is dealing with the uh, mathematics of it, and the other is, is dealing with uh, the morals and, and uh, the other instruction on it. Uh, both of those are concepts from the guys on high to impose this on, uniformly on the whole country. That is just dangerous it coming dangerous. out of the barrel of a gun right there. Yeah. And uh, the fact is there's enough known about it that this is not going to raise standards compared to the rest of the world. I had uh, Karen Lewis, the uh, uh, president of the Chicago Teachers Union on my show, and of course, you know, we differ on a number of issues. With, uh, is there anything that we, you and I could agree with that, with that woman? Well, you know, the, no, I, there, there's not much. But, you know, she really didn't understand that. She's the one that brought in, I know I forget the name of her, but there's a well-known national organizer that uh, organizes these mobs of teachers that uh, fill the streets mm -hmm. and do all that. She brought that. Organizer in. No, it's kind calling an organizer. Mm -hmm. That woman mm -hmm. is ugly any way you look at her, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly on what she does. The but listen, she's organized. The, have you seen the people in, in Washington, teachers, or up in Wisconsin, or downtown the in Chicago? That is an ugly, rampant bunch. You wouldn't want them they're, they're teaching very, your very, kids. They're a very, very rabid group of oh. folks. But they, they try, they, what they try to do is to program our children. Instead of teaching our children facts, they want to teach our children the NIMBY, PIMBY. You know, you can't have an A because that may hurt Johnny's feelings over here because he's a D. And we're not going to have honor students. But let's, let's talk about something that, that I think 
is not talked about here in Chicago. When you have Obama talking about education and Michelle Obama's coming here in two weeks to talk about education and the killings and Rahm Emanuel, the bottom line is that you know that Chicago students cannot take their books home to learn. What? I'm going to write a letter to the Supreme Court, to all the justices. So when they're dealing with this affirmative action thing, Chicago high school students cannot take books home for homework. And there's no state law to make them give the children books to take home. So if they have a math problem, they can't go home and work on it on the weekend because they can't read their book. They can't take a book home. They can't read their history lesson because they, they can't take their books home. But, but do they have online compatibility? Why would, that, why would that even be an issue? The bottom line here well, is they don't have the money, first of all. A lot of children don't have money to have computers. That's true. And we true. pay too much tax money to be paying children, to be paying teachers $72,000 on average a year. Wow. And Jack? Just, just say, you said how much was the cost for a student? No, the average... Uh, Salary for a teacher in Chicago is $72,000 a That's year. That's right. The average, what we spend on each student supposedly is $14,000 per student or something like that. They're not getting a $14,000 or $16,000 education. Zettler, They're not getting it. Hill Zettler, who has analyzed all this stuff, and it's in our, our book, right. The Pension Scam. That's right. That's for right. 15 years, we've been publishing the salaries of all the administrators, and we got way too many of those, right. considering you've got an educated teacher in every class. I don't know why we need all these bureaucrats sitting on top of the teachers. Uh, they're denigrating the ability of the teachers to handle a room. Uh, it's crazy. But I think it's we've just We've got a party. bureaucracy like this uh, down in Pershing Road, They've got a mob. Uh, at one time, they, they had something like 8,000 people in the building there. And uh, a foreigner was visiting, and he thought that was the control center for the whole nation. Uh, I mean, these guys are overloaded with people that are not doing a damn bit of good But for collecting the kids. checks. And that's my point. Instead of spending money on school books, instead of spending money on school safety, instead of eradicating the urban terrorists from the neighborhood who are killing the children, the children get to school, they're safe. It's getting from their homes to the school. Nobody wants to deal with that issue. Let's, let's give them the statistic that uh, they don't come out of this, that uh, the murders and stuff in Chicago, they're far less than there were before. I, I can show you the detective report from 1991. There were... I think it was 991 yeah. Yeah. Uh, murders by various things. About right. one third of them were not guns. Right. There's things like toilets and pantyhose that were used to kill people. But uh, there were damn near a thousand, very close to a thousand murders. Mm -hmm. And now we're down to about 600. But it's confined uh, to the black neighborhoods. It, most of the murders are black on black. That's right. Black Over 80%, kids, 90%. Black, black punks. Yep. Call it, uh, Urban terrorists is what I call them. Why is yes, that, they are. Charles? Because by any definition, these young gangsters and gang members and old gang members are terrorists. They terrorize citizens uh, who are in the neighborhood. But we have liberals and progressives and even Republicans who want to understand these people instead of eradicating. I'm not talking about locking them up. I'm talking about removing them from the population. Char Charles, these guys are... are, are gangsters in there because they're there's, terrorists. there's money in it. There is money, but there's, there's no money in, money in killing in, a child. There's, there's no, no money, money in killing a, 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 a person, shooting to a person's house who, who's just, you know, who just happens to be there. These guys run down the street indiscriminately. That's why I call them terrorists. They indiscriminately in, uh, cr uh, commit crimes against citizens, whether they're children, whether they're old people. Sure. They, these aren't just people who are selling drugs. It has nothing to do with that. Child, you know, children in the street in a water hydrant, playing in a water hydrant. And they shoot in the, in the water hydrant at the kids. Why are we talking about locking this person up? Shooting. <laughs> Shooting. Well, we don't do that. We but, should. Uh, we do. But the, see, if, if he were in, the, in a suburb doing that, dead. In the city, they want to cycle that person back through, just like now. Quinn and Rahm Emanuel are putting 7,000 every year for the last four years. They've put 7,000 convicted felons back into the black community who kill people. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to make a remark about uh, why there are shootings within the school that have got Obama. 
really upset about it, and he attributes it to guns. Well, guns is not the motivation for killing off kids in a school. There's another one I'd like to take up, and it has to do with the deterioration of what the schools teach. And uh, otherwise, if it were just guns, they'd be shooting aldermen. That's right. <laughs>